Have you been thinking about trying to start a YouTube channel and you just don't know where to begin? Or maybe you just feel like it's not meant for you or, or maybe you feel like you can't learn. Maybe um, you're looking at other people and seeing how successful they are and you're like, I can't do that. That's not for me. Well, I'm here to show you today that you can start a YouTube channel and you really don't have to have that many ducks in a row, if that makes sense. A lot of people think they have to go out and buy all this expensive equipment, know how to edit and all these other things and, and know all the technology and all that behind it. And you really don't. Many of your top gurus still use an iPhone to do their video recording with. You don't have to have all that. And I'm going to talk about that today. I want to give you some steps and how you can start a channel and be successful because right now we're living, I think things are changing right now in our world. We're um, we've just came out of quarantine. Um, I have a feeling we're going back in. A lot of schools are starting to do blended models where kids are learning from home. A lot of businesses. I have friends that um, started out part time working from home from their job and now they're being asked to do it full time. So things are changing. And I always think when things change, let's look at the good things that are changing, not just the bad. I know sometimes it's hard to let go of what we're used to, but there are good things. I've worked from home for the last 18 years and love it. I've done it as an online school teacher, and that is what's driven me to want to do this business as well. This is something I can continue to do after I'm finished teaching, after I retire, and this is my only job. This is something I can take with me as my husband and I, um, if we decide to travel or, or just pick up and go whenever we want, I want to be able to take my phone or my laptop with me and continue working on my job and not have to be chained to something. So that's the beauty of working from home. And our the internet allows you to do that, social media and YouTube especially. Now, one of the things um, we're going to talk about today is how to start a YouTube channel, how to get started if you have nothing. You're not, you don't even, haven't even played around. Um, you don't even know where to begin. Before we get started, I would like you to subscribe to my channel because you're gonna see more videos and playlists that have to do with helping new YouTubers get started. You can always use YouTube as part of your business in affiliate marketing. That's how I got started with YouTube. I have this affiliate marketing business and I wanted to find a platform to put it on. I started out trying to um, use it on Facebook, but I found that I really love YouTube. This is where my passion is. I did not want to write, I wanted to talk. It's kind of like teaching, isn't it? And that's what um, I love about it. And I have found that helping other people, that teacher and me, is what I enjoy doing. So you're going to see a lot more videos like this, so make sure you subscribe, especially if you're getting started and you're new. All right, let's begin. Before we get started, I want to give you a disclaimer, okay? As I encourage you and help you to get started with your dream about becoming a YouTuber, I want you to realize that it isn't something that happens overnight. I know that sometimes we look at other channels and we see how successful they are and we think, oh, I can do that, that's a piece of cake. It really isn't a piece of cake. There is a lot of work involved. Now, for myself, I love to work. So the work is not work to me. It's enjoyable but if you'd like to work and you enjoy uh, striving to do new things and you enjoy making money then this is for you and you're the type of person that can work hard <laughs> and not get discouraged now if you're tend to be more low-key i'm not going to use the word lazy because that's not fair just because you don't like to work doesn't make you lazy but maybe you don't want to put a lot of effort out maybe that's just you then i wouldn't suggest even beginning i'm just trying to save you the time and i don't want you to have this dream that's unrealistic that you're going to get on here and things are going to happen really fast it happens differently for everyone i have seen people start a channel um, that i followed and they just took off and other people have been at it for two and three years and they're moving along at a slower pace so your journey is going to be what you make it how much research you do and what you learn once you jump in today we're going to talk about just getting started started what do you need to do to even begin first of all i want you to think of it as a business you're starting a business even though you might be doing something fun it's still a business because eventually you can get monetized with youtube and start making money but you're not going to get monetized right away the beginning is just getting started and that's what i want you to do today is just get started so one of the things i want you to think about what are you going to share on youtube what is it that you want to share for the world to know um, and something that you enjoy sharing now as you think about this i want you to just explore other channels 
think about things that you enjoy watching and what makes you want to keep uh, going on YouTube and watch other channels. Now, sometimes Google is uh, YouTube and Google are search engines. Most of the time, people are searching for an answer to a question. How can I lose 10 pounds in one month? Um, how do I put a foundation in all by myself for an addition to a building? How do I crochet? How do I learn how to play the guitar? How do I create a YouTube channel? <laughs> so usually people are asking questions and you're giving the answer. So when I first started, I'm gonna put the little tip in now. I wasn't sure like all of my ideas that I wanted to put together, because that's one of the things I'm gonna tell you to do, but I wasn't sure. So what I started out doing was how-to videos. As I was learning, I would just go make a video, how-to. A lot of my beginning videos were only two and three minutes, five minutes, and that's okay. So I want you to think about what you want to share with the world. And once you figure out what that is, I want you to decide um, I want you to do a little bit of research and find out if other people are looking for that. So just go into Google and type in um, how to, let's go do that now. Let's say you want to start um, teaching people how to play the guitar. So I want you to go to Google and how do I play the guitar? And you want to go into videos. And there you go. You've got all kinds of videos here how to play your first chord. And now look at the dates too, pay attention. A lot of these were, uh, this one's new, the 2020. So as you can see, and I want you to look at the dates for a reason. Notice this video, it's ranking number one when I asked that question. This person made this video eight years ago and it's still on YouTube. And this is how it becomes passive income. So imagine yourself creating a channel and you've made videos maybe for 10 years. Some of your videos people will keep searching for and some they won't, but obviously this is something that people want to learn, how to play the guitar. And yes, you could make a whole channel on that because if you're a guitar player, you know all the pieces that go with it and all the things that you can talk about because it's something you're interested in. Now you don't have to do a channel that has to do with how to learn something that's an educational site you could do a site for entertainment there's people that um let's do another one um i want to go ahead into youtube and get them instead of doing it that way i want to um let's look for something that has entertainment so let's look for um funny cats okay and <laughs> you know people who love cats or love dogs or love animals they're always looking for what their cats are doing that's funny here's one that went viral or went out a week ago it's called funny cats cute and baby cat videos a compilation okay this person did a compilation which means they found a whole bunch of shots of different cats compiled them into a video and in one week they had 79,000 views now if you're not a cat lover you're like who the heck would look that up well people who love cats here's another one two months ago one million views the best cute and funny cat videos this week and this video is 15 minutes of watching funny cats two million or a million views in just two months so once you become monetized and they start paying you for the views this this person's making a lot of money off of this and all they did was compile videos of something they enjoy i saw other videos you might uh, find the scariest let's look up the scariest videos somebody compiled them they might have gone in to look at different videos or movies 20 scary videos you should not watch alone five million views 10 months ago it's 39 minutes long i have not watched this but i'm going to assume maybe that person went on to youtube and found other clips from other videos or maybe they went into movies and found clips now be careful when you start taking things out of movies or, or things like that there's a there's laws that you can't just uh, take things out of movies and, and make money off of them but as an example go in and watch where what kind of scary videos do they have i again i don't look at these and i don't um, i haven't compiled them so i don't know but i want you to see that you can take an interest and become entertaining maybe you're into sports you could do the 10 top blunders in ice hockey or something like that other people that love sports love blunders or love 
ice hockey are going to look that up so what i want you to do when you come up with your idea it's called your niche or niche you'll hear that word uh, i nobody ever knows how to say it it's said both ways once you find your niche then you want to make sure people are searching for it and you just pretend what i did is i just make a list of what kind of questions would i ask if I were looking for what I'm showing. So you might look up um, how to play play the guitar, like you said, or how to play a certain song on a guitar, or what are chords. Think of all the different questions about guitars that you would look up and see that other people are looking them up. Now later, later, there are things that you do like get into keyword search and uh, search engine optimization and all that. I don't even want you to think about that right now. I just want you to make sure that whatever the topic is that you wanna share, people are looking for it and and it's very important because if you let's say you want to do a videos on how to sew and i haven't looked it up but maybe a lot of people aren't looking that up nowadays maybe that was something a lost art and people just aren't looking that up so then you want to think of something else maybe you just have to come up with a catchier term for it but make sure before you go any further so if you need to stop right now and get those ideas going do that now when you produce videos you're always going to be producing value and you know it's valuable because other people are looking for it so you're kind of solving problems or helping answer questions all right so that's number one and number two you're going to decide what is your niche is and i want you to do a search okay so that's two things next i want you to name your channel what are you going to name it now you might say well i have no idea i when i first started i just spent so much time with this and i'm going to give you something very easy notice the name of my channel is my name and i did not want to do that at first i thought that is so like narcissistic you know why would i have a channel with my name do it just put your name on there and here's why you are a human being and your interests change and you grow so maybe you start your channel out with um just how to lose weight okay and it's pretty broad i understand that but maybe you start out in that field with how to lose weight um, by exercising okay women over 50 or something like that i'm thinking for myself all right so you start making all these videos um with you know you're exercising and things like that and then you decide that most of your audience they're really more interested in nutrition and maybe you've grown into that um, direction it's still health related but maybe you find that you're kind of um, going in a different direction in the healthcare industry more into nutrition and you really enjoy cooking and maybe you get into keto or something like that and you find that that's what everybody wants to know about those are the questions that your audience is asking so how would you change your name if you went from exercising with Vanessa to Vanessa de Berlay or, or health tips or, or how to eat healthy so use your name so that way as you grow as a person and you grow into a deeper niche or or you become more refined you don't have to change your name they're looking for you because you're the one that they're following does that make sense so i recommend use your name and just do it and get over yourself just do it because um here's the other thing too what if the business that you were promoting all of a sudden people aren't interested in it anymore maybe you were promoting scary videos or something like that and all of a sudden nobody really cares about that anymore they've gone on to something else then you can kind of grow as well into other areas so your name is your name nobody else can steal it it's yours and it will be with you forever so i highly recommend you do that um, your brand is you it's your name another thing that goes with that as far as you what is this called it's called youtube so we expect you <laughs> to use your name so do that if you don't want to find something else but that's just my recommendation so okay you have your name you have your ideas it's searchable people are looking for it now what do you do i want you just to find a quiet place a place that you think it could be in a room with blaring music it could be outside near a bubbling creek whatever it is okay i want you to come up with as many ideas as you can i just want you to make a list okay now you can do these two in one order or the other and i want you to try to group them into six categories or six pillars and the reason i say that is because i here's how i would do that exercise i would start coming up with ideas and then as my ideas are as i'm writing them down i would start noticing oh i have a whole cluster of ideas that 
are related to, let's go back to the health industry. I have a whole cluster of ideas that are related to um, how to eat healthy, okay? Oh, and I noticed here I have a whole cluster of ideas on how to be motivated, um, how to start my day or, or stay focused during the day, not go eat all the time. Um, so you're gonna notice there's gonna be clusters and I want you to try to stick within six categories. Even if you were doing the guitar, we can go back to that. How to play simple songs or chords, um, um, maintenance, uh, how to care for your guitar could be part of it. You know, I'm sure there's things that you need to do to keep it working well and keep those strings um, in good working order, things like that. But I want you to stick with only six categories because what's going to happen, especially in the healthcare industry, you can go off on tangents like crazy. And, and you might say, well, yeah, but I watch people that have huge audiences and they're, they're, you know, a million subscribers and they talk about everything. Well, yes, they do because they can by then. By then their audience has been grown and they have followers that follow them and they really don't care what they talk about at that point. I'm just being honest. So you want to really stick within four to six categories. I say six because I know um, sometimes if you just stick within four, sometimes yeah, there's other things. I just found six was good, okay? Um, so stick within those six categories. Later down the road, as you make your videos, then you can start making playlists. And again, that's something that you'll learn as you go. I've got videos on that, by the way. I have a playlist on how to get started as a um, beginner YouTuber. And in that playlist, you'll see things like that, how to make a playlist and things like that. But today, you're just coming up with your ideas. So you have a list. Challenge yourself. Do you have 50 ideas, 100 ideas? I'm not going to sit here and tell you how many. You're going to have those ideas and go, you know what? I, I think I'm ready to get started. Okay, so you've grouped them. Now, the next thing I want you to do is come up with a schedule. How many videos can you realistically do in a week? And you're probably going to go, well, I don't even know how to make a video. I, when I first started, and this is something I did, and I know a lot of YouTubers will tell you not to do it, but for me, I had to because I wanted to be committed. But I made a commitment to make a video every day for a year. And I think I did it for like 10 months because by then my channel was growing and I started to get monetized and th things. And I thought, okay, now I want to start making longer videos. Because like I had mentioned in the beginning, my videos were shorter. I didn't worry about the time and I don't want you to either. I want you just to make the video get the information out, be yourself, and go from there. A lot of your beginning videos, most people aren't gonna see them anyway. They will, but they're not gonna, your new ones as you grow will top the views of those, if that makes sense. So I want you just to get comfortable with making the videos and with your information at this point because you're brand new. And I want you to come up with a schedule. I would recommend at least two videos a week if you're brand new. I'm doing two now and I kind of enjoy that. I kind of do my more intense video on one day and the, my how-to video on the other day. It's kind of how I do it. Um, just because I love doing how-to videos, I think that's my teacher in me, like I said. So um, for me, that balances out. It's two different types of videos that I'm doing, but it's all within my same category. So we've gone through how to start your channel because this is the platform of where you're going to go to start making your videos. Now, I did not go into the mechanics notice. I made you do the thought process first. Just like if you're getting ready to take a vacation somewhere, what do you do? You plan, right? You have checklists and planning and you know everything you're gonna do. Then you actually go buy the tickets and then you actually go pack the suitcase and things like that. I have a video that I made on how, the five steps on how to put your channel together. Just five simple steps on how to create your channel. And then from there, you will start making your videos. Now you're probably thinking, but how do I make a video? I don't have any expensive equipment. Now, where do I go? Number one, you do not need expensive equipment, okay? You can make your videos with your iPhone. I made my first few videos that way. Use your iPhone and what I suggest, if you have to go buy something, I know people that have held it out and just make their video. If that's all you have, then, that's, then do it. Two things though, if you've got 50 bucks and you wanna buy some um, inexpensive equipment, I do recommend a tripod. I have a down below in my description, the tripod I use, I love it. I use it outside, I use it and I'm using it right now. Um, right now I'm using a webcam 
a little camera instead of putting it on my computer i have it over on my tripod so it's a little bit further away if i ever videotape outside i take my tripod with me and i also have a lavalier microphone that i use that i use in the beginning i now use a blue yeti it's a bigger one but it's just a little tiny clip that goes on your your lapel and it's, it has a cord that's about six feet long and you can put your tripod up put your iphone up and start videotaping now you can buy things like um, wi-fi little clickers to start and finish and things like that but you don't have to have that i have seen people start their video and you watch their arm go up and click it it doesn't bother me if they're giving me something i want if they're answering a question that i searched for I don't that stuff doesn't bother me i want my question answered it's the content that is important okay so that's all you need to get started and i do have a video on how to upload a video and i also how to create a video with an iphone so if you want to watch those you're more than welcome to they're at the end of the video here now information to get started i want you to go do those steps take the time to make the list i have a checklist below in the description if you can't remember everything i said there's a checklist at youtube video uh, youtube channel launch checklist that you can get for free go ahead and hit that link below and i will email that to you immediately and at least you can use that checklist if you need to go back through the video that would work as well but i really if you get nothing else out of this video anybody can make a youtube channel you can see younger kids i've seen kids in high school that are making thousands of dollars a week and i've watched some of them when you're young you love watching what other kids do i did when i was young if there was a movie on tv i wanted to watch it because it had kids in it right and kids like to watch kids and you you know maybe you're older and you're watching them and you're like how are they making money because that's what youtube's about you're attracting an audience that wants to watch and i think it's awesome that somebody 17 years old can get on youtube and make a living and make money and be themselves authentically i i'm just really impressed at, um, because it's a lot of work and that's why I'm impressed you might think well they're just getting on there and acting silly they're acting like themselves other people are interested and they're drawn to them and I think it's awesome because it's a lot of work it's not easy it's not just as easy you're gonna go make a video and you're gonna post it and you might not have any views or you might not get any subscribers maybe for a couple months and a lot of people just quit I'm gonna share something with you I had eight subscribers for three months and every time i got one i was like yay and now i'm at about 2400 and now i'm like oh i'm not moving fast enough see it's all in how you look at it and i need to get that attitude back like oh my gosh i have eight and that's what i keep telling myself because you can't predict how fast you're going to grow and you just have to go on the journey and just keep getting better and your journey today starts now you're going to come up with your ideas um, do everything i told you to do and start making your videos and if you want to um, put a comment below tell us the name of your channel that you created hopefully um, some of the people watching you can go in and click it and watch it and view it and give you some views all right i am excited for you to get started and keep watching i've got more videos coming out that are going to help you with your channel you have a good one